Well, it is a word that evokes many emotions in people. It's a derogatory racial remark that has divided people for many years. And a Jefferson County High School teacher has now received the longest suspension on record for calling a student the N-word. WHAS Levin's defender Renee Murphy investigates what happened and why in this story you'll only see on 11. Valley Traditional High School is in the middle of a racial controversy right now. A teacher used the N-word towards a student. The word is only six letters long, but the impact is far-reaching. And we do want to warn you that some of the language in this story is strong, and it may offend you, it may offend some other people. But since the story is not just about the N-word, it's also about the teacher's intent and definition of the word, we have decided to leave it in the story for you to decide. And what did he say specifically to you? Sit down, nigga. Keyshawn Chambers is a freshman at Valley High School, a Boy Scout, a football player, a member of the ROTC, an honor roll student. He was hanging around his teacher's classroom door in December. The teacher told him to sit down, and the teacher says that Keyshawn used the N-word first. And I just kind of was stunned a second. Well, 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 then get away from the door, nigga. And I was just, I repeated the same insult because that's sort of what I've been trained to do. The school district says that is not what they trained English teacher Paul Dawson to do. He tried to say I said it and for some, and I didn't say it and no one else in the class knows that I said it because I didn't. Documents from the school investigation show that several of the students interviewed from Valley did not hear Keyshawn say the N-word first. Dawson says that students use the slang version of the N-word at Valley High School all the time. He says N-I-G-G-E-R is a racial slur, but says that students use N-I-G-G-A as often as they'd say dude or hey man. And Dawson says as much as he does not like the word, he still used the slang version to feel more comfortable with black students. Why, why is this word used so frequently, so... I just, I just don't understand it, and, and I'm trying to understand it. I need help. Yes, I, I use nigga. I'll, I, I've, I've used it. I admit it. I put the H on it to emphasize it's nigga. That you know, nigga, nigga, this nigga, nigga, please, nigga. You know, can you lend the nigga a pencil? What kind of example are you setting for your students if you use a word that you don't want them to use? Upon reflection, that, that's not good. Dawson was suspended for 10 days without pay from January 9th to January 23rd, and he has to go to diversity training. He says that he's learned from this experience and well, hopes that others yeah, well, think twice before using I mean, the N-word. I will never say any form of nigga. I, you know, I'm cured of that. Paul Dawson says that he is sorry for the way things were handled, but Keyshawn says that he is not looking for any apologies. Apologizing is going to change the fact that it happened and he's not been punished. And punishment in your mind is? Him not having his job anymore. Paul Dawson says that he wants there to be a steadfast policy in Jefferson County Public Schools against people using the N-word right now. When it is brought up, it's dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis with the district. And we should mention that Keyshawn is still in Paul Dawson's classroom. Dawson has been with the district for 20 years, and Keyshawn is in, still, still in that classroom because Dawson is an honors English teacher. Mm -hmm. There are very few honors English classes, so he is still with him. Well, now he was suspended for a while, but is he back teaching? He is back teaching teaching now and he still does have his job uh, but this is not the first time that Paul Dawson has been suspended from Jefferson County Public Schools coming up at 5:30 we'll tell you what happened before we'll tell you about his plan to appeal the suspension and why the district says that he should keep his job thank you very much i'm sure we haven't heard the last of this oh no lots right. more to come thank you